Welcome to Empire, buddy. This is Rampane, and welcome back to my Kingdom of Sweden campaign for the Bullet Steel mod. We're gonna continue with the stuff from last time. Continue our war with Kiev. I still hate that I didn't get the city, but we'll take it this turn, this video, um, as soon as I have my siege equipment ready. You guys, I'm still making your way on over here. I'm glad I have a lot of reinforcements over here. And so I should still be able to push into... Oh, actually, you guys should be able to move soon. I need to leave some of these goddamn archers here. I have too many archers. Way too many. Um, you guys try and train some of those guys around here. And then start getting me some more infantry. Start doing that. Because you guys... Because I don't have enough movement to get you over there, sadly. Ah, that's a shame. But it's fine. Um, my other force... I had somebody in here, right? Yes, I did. You can actually move right now. So right now, where I want you to go... Um... Which one was the castle again? Wasn't it this one? No, it's a city. It's this one. Yeah, Turov. That's the one I want. So we're gonna bring you guys over about... Um, yeah, it's about here. Because I can drop you guys off. Oh, are they in the way? It's Novgorod. Um, I can move the army this way. I can just move you this way. Kind of bring you along down here. And it'll take you about a turn to get there. So you guys will make your way on over there. Try and take that castle. As we've now got some links, and we'll have another uh, fortress in a little bit. Um, over here with England, we are still fighting you guys. Oh, I do need to get rid of this unit. I can't let you guys lure me out of Winchester. And then I need to check on what's going on around here. So, uh, yeah, let's check over here first. I'm going to kind of see if they have anybody around here. They don't. Because what I think I might do is, where are my reinforcements for right here? So, I've got... Yes. You guys are just waiting here. Uh, Skara is just about to finish some more stuff next turn. And you are also about to finish some stuff next turn. Okay, so I'll have you guys move out next turn. Bring you guys over this way. And I think what we're going to do is... Winchester should be a really good area to try and hold them at bay around here. And then I can just kind of push, take Exter. That'll at least give me some more money, just in general. And then I can try and make my way over to Carnivon. That area might be a bit tougher, because I think that's actually I just a straight-up full stack. Let's go try and scout that out with you. You try and make your way on over there. And then, uh, what do I want for buildings? I need to also check on my... Oh, you're already still buried at building merchants. So I should actually be good on buildings then, too, correct? Yes, because I know that one city still doesn't have enough public order for me to get that Jewish suburb. I do need to at least try and check on my merchants... Because you're just in Lund, you actually want to get onto this boat. Keep gathering around here, because I'm going to be sending you guys uh, towards Africa again any time now. Uh, who else do we have? Dude, dude, ah, uh, because you guys are right there. Is this is one? Because you guys are still one, two, three-ish turns from around here. Okay, so pass that along. Because we're going to keep focusing on Kiev right now. I'm wondering how long we're actually going to get this piece to last with Novgorod. This mod might actually be pretty good about that. Because we've already had it last for a couple turns, which is nice. As if I can basically secure the Ukrainian region um, from Kiev before Novgorod puts, attacks me again. I'm, I'm pretty much set. Because that's all the land I'm going to want from Kiev. And then I can just ignore them and just make sure I have good defenses in the areas that they might continuously try and attack. I don't intend to try and kill them off. At that point, then, I might try and offer... Hey! I'm trading there, you assholes. I still might be on the resource there. I would hope so. I don't want to lose that money. Ah, uh, here's England coming. My god, England has so much shit. I really did just uh, exchange my war with Novgorod, a very bloody war with Novgorod, for a very bloody war with England. And my god, there's four stacks right next to Winchester. This is going to be very interesting, you guys trying to hold there and hold that castle if you can. Because I, at least the one thing about me attacking England is I can easily, very easily, attack them on the coast. Because almost every single one of their cities, except for like the one city to the north of me, is on the coast, and I can just straight up blitz it, attack it. We can properly take advantage of us being Vikings and really hit them hard at their cities. The open field, though, that would be pain. That would be a huge pain, because look at how many armies there are. Because there's four here, that's about five, if you combine those. About seven or eight full stacks, if you combine everything together around there. It's just fucking ridiculous. 
Let's get in here first. Let's start pushing through you guys. And I should be able to very easily deal with you guys. You're just a bunch of garrisons. They do have these guys in the way. And I don't have any... I don't have night battle. So I do have to fight these guys. But I can probably just prevent them from getting into the city. As they're going to be coming in from the other side. So let's push in here. Take this castle. And then kind of look around at the state of the castle of itself. And what I can recruit and what I cannot recruit. As if I can recruit a decent amount of stuff around here, I'll probably try and retrain a little bit more as I'm bringing more guys over here. If not, then I might just kind of leave a small force, take what I can, go back, reinforce, uh, and then try and attack one of the... Uh, there was that city toward the southwest. So I'll see you guys right here. I'm going to move up uh, basically mainly you guys as you'll do some really good damage. I don't need all the ladders, although I will just have you guys maybe back here just in case. And then... Besides you, I might actually be fine with just you five will be the ones pushing into the city. Because basically what I want to do is the rest of you, these guys, the rest of my infantry, you're going to be kind of trying to want to move up. Probably they're going to come around this side, or maybe this one. It's one of the two. I can have you guys sit there and then basically just have my archers and you prevent them from getting into the city. Because the, the garrisons, the oh, they're actually they inside. In that is not the side I thought you guys were on. So we're going to wait. I'll, I'll adjust you guys over here at least. I'll adjust you guys over to this side here. And I'll wait until the tower where we are um, sure they're not on the walls. And then I can move you guys in. Otherwise you're going to be just shot at by the towers. Which is something we do not want. So you guys kind of go there, there, there. And then, let's see. They've got some guys right here. Got some guys right here. I might as well send one here. Might as well send one right here, and one right here. Rush on into the walls! Because these guys are just garrison spearmen. You guys should absolutely destroy them. That one actual unit they had, I'm assuming is sitting in the city center. Hey, here it is. Here's the spear militia unit. The, the one son ladder. of a bitch that got away from me. Well, don't worry. I'm going to mow through your garrison forces and destroy you as well. These guys are pushing in, garrison scrim. I'm kind of surprised they don't have a garrison archer, actually. I'm surprised it's not a thing for the garrison scripts. Although, I honestly don't really need it. It would help a little bit, but then again, because of how bad the garrison units usually are, I actually prefer not having them. Because my archers can be very useful for defenses. And if you had a good unit for the garrison for archers, it'd be a bit too easy, probably, to defend settlements. Because for walled settlements like this, it's very easy to just shotgun them as they're trying to get on the walls. And as soon as you guys are up here, I'll be kind of flank around there. They've already lost 4% of their forces. Like, you guys... Oh, they just gave up around here. Um, oh, actually, they ran over this side. Okay, help out that section there. Get them off of the walls. The reinforcements are going to be making their way over here. So these towers... Uh, they have broken. Let's get these guys down here next. Finish that guy off, and then go for that garrison spearman right there. You guys, I'm going to want to adjust right here. I think you can do that now. You shouldn't be shot at. Cab as well, kind of right about here. As long as we prevent them from getting inside the castle, we should be fine. Because you guys, yeah, these guys are all dead here. Get down off the walls. Go attack this garrison spearman unit here. Uh, let's see, you guys. Oh, okay, you're doing, you went the other way that I thought you were going to go. These guys keep pushing through these garrison infantrymen. Now we just have to wait for you guys to push your way in. And then we'll start making our way towards the city center. Like, get rid of the guys around the walls first. Uh, the bastards split their focus. So they've actually got some of you guys going around this way. Um, it might be easiest for me to finish this force off first. These are all infantry. Because they do have some of their men going around this way. Um, you guys... If you're, you're higher quality, but there's only two of you. So what I can maybe try and do is... No, I think I should focus on them over here. Why are you just sitting there? I thought I grabbed you. Okay, you guys need to get over here. Who's that? Oh, you're just sitting there. What the fuck? You're probably from the other army. Uh, Cab, go charge them. I'm probably going to have you guys make your way up and actually be aggressive towards... Are they going to use my ladders? It looks like they're about to try and use my ladders. If they do, actually, that's okay. Well, no, actually, I don't want that. So, Cav kind of charge them. It does look like they're going to try and do that. So let's have some of you kind of rush on over here. We're going to try and finish this force off first. Then we'll go over and deal with the other guys on the other side. 
Because at the moment, uh, they've lost 20% of their forces. You guys are still holding them at bay here. They might drop... I, I, are they going to use the ladders? I've never seen the AI use my own ladders against me. It'll be interesting if they do. Let's, let's try and see if they're going to. You guys can get over here and flank this unit. You get on over this way. Yeah, they're straight up trying to use my ladders. Can you not? Yeah, some of them are. Oh, that's... That does not bode well for uh, you guys over here. Oh, if I don't accidentally go past the entire castle. Um, oh, no. Okay, so these ones aren't. You guys are ignoring me. Good. Because if they drop their guys off right here, that actually do a lot of... Uh, fuck. They listen to me. You're not supposed to listen to me, please. Let's have you shoot that Druzny. I think the Druzny is just going to run inside. They have lost half their men. Okay, these guys over here, they're looking. Let's bring you over this way. Uh, that guy's running away up there. Oh, there's a catapult there. Uh, let's get you guys go attack that. You, how about over here? Oh, that guy's broken. Our enemy has you guys focus him down, just kind of chase him. He's going to try and run down up up the ladders. You get rid of the catapult, and then we're good there. Uh, they did just run inside. Yeah, they did just run inside. Oh, nope, they didn't. I thought they were going to. Okay, you guys kind of run off to the side here. So you can shoot them. These guys? Okay, you're not doing the worst. I was kind of a little worried about you guys bringing troops up here. But they've now lost about half their army. As soon as I get rid of you guys, it's just making our way towards the city center. Because now you guys here will have reinforcements. So let's bring you guys over to this unit, this garrison infantry guy. I'll have all of you guys besides that unit. Uh, make your way on up here, start getting up on the ladders. Now, if I can get you guys to break out here with my cow, this will be one of the few units I'm worried about dead. Which they're already breaking now, perfect. Okay, because you guys right here are trying to push in this wall section. You guys are slowly making your way up here. The enemy are badly These guys they on this side. Those are basically dead. I'm going to get you actually off the walls. Go over here for this garrison spearman. And then my cav. Let's have you guys kind of pull off to the side a second. And then let's bring uh, this unit. Let's see, that is a garrison spearman there. I'm going to have you charge forward this way. And I'm going to try and have it so that maybe you can push in with my general through the main gate. As I don't like how much damage we're taking from the towers. But you guys are taking a little while to push through them. And you guys... As soon as these guys are inside, I'm going to have them just go straight for the city center. Although, actually, maybe I should have them help out with the gates. Because as soon as I have these guys out of the way, then I can bring all my forces towards the city center. Forgot they had oil at the gates. Uh, so those guys failed. You guys have at least been able to push through your unit. So I'm going to bring you guys over this way. And get rid of anybody else that's left around there. These guys can finally get down off the walls. Start kind of focusing on these guys right here. You guys, I've been trying to have you go towards the city center anyways. Let's see, we've taken out two-thirds of the enemy force so far. You guys now have the gates under our control. So I can get my cab in here now. So my cab, let's go over... Yeah, try and attack that unit. They'll break, given their current position. And then they've only got some cab in the city... The senior militia is still alive. And then we've taken out most of the garrison at this point. Because, like, you guys are just trying to push straight on in. Yeah, just go straight for the city center. You guys can start kind of clearing the path. I'll have my cab kind of try and help finish these guys off and actually break them. Oh, no, you guys have already broken. Good. Okay, you guys are there. Let's bring these guys over down this way, too. And then my cab. Let's see where we're at now. 74. I was a fourth of my army for this. Oof. I, I'm hoping I'm going to uh, take some time to replenish, hopefully. There, final stretch. You guys just need to take the city center, so I'm trying to bring all my infantry in here. My archers are out of ammo, so they're kind of worthless. They've only got about 13% of their forces left. Because the senior militia unit is the best one they've got. The garrison cab is always really bad. The senior militia is already losing quite a bit. So you guys will eventually push through all of them. They don't have enough men to stop me now at this point. There we go. So we now we have this castle, and my power over Russia should start to expand now that I have more of them over here. Because I've got basically two right now that can really help uh, replenish us right in Russia, this region around here. And so with this kind of being the furthest east I'll go, this should help. 
because I'm gonna help. Let's see, so let's exterminate. And to make sure they're happy, I kind of do need to exterminate. Uh, destroyed a decent amount of stuff there. Uh, it is enough that I can still retrain a couple of the guys, probably. Let's get uh, maybe the infantry first. So get the place built up first, then you can kind of start replenishing your forces around there. Um, also, I kind of want you to go around for a second and then like build up some watchtowers. I like, just get a watchtower there for me, my king. And then I don't have enough movement, I think, to go anywhere else. So just get that one there. I do need my spy. Because these areas over here I don't give a shit about. Although I could conquer them if I really wanted to. They all are on the coast. Like, basically, I'll, what I'll do is kind of like leave them over there. Because I don't care about that area. Because I will want this city here. Like, what do they have around here? Because they've got... Oh, that's a, that's a full stack. That is a full stack over there. So that'll be a little difficult to take. Uh, you guys here... Okay, I do have enough movement. What do you have in there? Just one guy? Let's see, let's kind of move there. See if there's anybody nearby. No? Nobody nearby. Okay. Just siege it. Siege that. It's also another fucking senior militia. God damn it. It's the same fucking battle, basically. Um, let's see. Let's take my agent here. And let's go scout out around this city. See what's kind of going on over there. And I still have that mission for assassination. Um, right around there. Can I get to him? No, but it's, yeah, you. Vladimir, yes. That's the guy I want to try and kill. So let's try, hey, 21% chance, not bad. Uh, let's see, Vilno. You're still trying to retrain there. Derped. You guys give me some more infantry as well. And then I do want to still keep eating the Prussian Axemen. Keep writing those guys. Because I've got you... Oh, no, I've, okay, I've got three. Sorry, I miscounted my castles. I've got three castles around over here, and then I've got two over here. Yeah, I've got a lot of areas to really replenish my forces now around here. That's great. Um, yeah, Winchester, we know, we're sieged. Again, this is going to be fun. Because they've got a lot of shit. And it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Because if I remember to compare England and myself, military, their military is slightly higher than mine. If I compare them to Kiev and Novgorod... So England actually has about the same military, roughly. They're a little bit lower than as uh, Kiev. Interesting. Territorially, though, I'm way higher than both of them. We're now actually at the, about the halfway point for territory, which is kind of interesting. We still need another 25 regions, which I'm hoping will start kind of speeding up, especially if I take land from England uh, by just maybe kind of going along the coast. Maybe we'll be able to start speeding up a little more. Uh, but let's bring you guys over. The Damn it, I went the wrong way again. It's not the way I meant to send you, but that's fine. Uh, I guess we need some more time to recruit some more guys around here. Let's grab those, and then I'm getting a trebuchet with you guys next turn. Um, you guys here... Oh, no, no, again. Again, I want to make sure we only grab them in Lund. Lund's going to be the best area we can get my merchants. Um, let's see. Who needs a governor around here? I could still use one over here, so let's send you over here. Let's see, have you be a governor for that region. Uh, Black Death. Uh, still affecting Riga. It's affecting my agents right now. Um, here. What do I want to get for you guys? For this area. Honey brewery. I'm going to get the honey brewery. Get the honey brewery. Um, maybe also queue up. Animal farm. It's happiness. Law wouldn't be bad. Because how much corruption do we have around here? Oh, about 300. Yeah. Get rid of that law. That's enough uh, for you guys to have queued up. And then what else? Again, we don't have enough public order for that area, for that building yet. And I think that's actually it. We don't have much else. Oh, no, no, no. There was, uh... Let's look. You guys... Mm -hmm. You're my capital right now, so I'm not going to get much from getting rid of law. F Ooh. You get the better fairgrounds. Oh, does that really give another 800? Oh, no, no. You guys are just slowly ramp ranking up to that. Okay, um, I could get the tax office. You guys are happy enough I could do that. Let's do this. Let's get the gallows and then the tax office. That'll give a decent amount of money. That gives about the same amount as that. And then another 200. Sure, let's grab that. And I think that's it for buildings. Oh, no, 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 no. There's some stuff around here. Turku, um, you guys, I'm going to grab the sawmill. That gives public order bonus. Uh, you guys here... That was again to... Yeah, just public order on bonus. 
tax office i could grab around here but i think i'll hold off on that for now i'll then have you guys get the better sawmill around here as well and then do i want to move these guys out i think i should so let's grab all of you guys um let's move you about here yes my lord then grab all of these guys and let's drop them off immediately right around here and then i'm gonna merge you guys together into a better fleet you keep making your way on over this way and now let's see so i have so many cab units sorry not cab units i have so many archers um let's leave behind i don't need this many i have so many let's see one two three four five six seven eight. i have eight of them i don't need eight archers Move not on. as this faction. So let's have you kind of move out. Um, I'll grab all of you. And then you've got... Let's grab you. You, you, you. So there's two archers in there. I'll grab one more from here. Let's grab the Lithuanian archers. And then that should be good for my prince. Now you... I think... Because I've got Turov under siege. This settlement here has got nothing around it. So I'll have you kind of go down around this way. I think I'm going to have you make your way over to this city. As my king is going to be kind of sitting here for a little bit trying to build himself up. Um, and then let's just have the excess guys kind of stay around here. Keep bringing more men over this way. And basically... Like, let's see, you could use... If I merge guys together... Your cab is really beat up. So if I'm going to send anything over there... I have no cab in here, damn it. Um... Bring like yes. they have a full stack over there okay so i might want to kind of hold off for a bit hold off maybe move those guys in as one giant group yes, uh, let's bring you back over this way yes, my lord. Should move it. Yeah, keep going around that way full sail. and then i think yes. for you guys i do have some guys in north copen so i've got quite a few of you i'm gonna need, i need more cab go today, let's make sure you guys send some more cab over here as that's what i need a lot of right now these areas over here can actually easily replenish me with infantry. Um, but I need more cab, and that's the main thing that I'm kind of losing out on. So right now. Um, a new person added to my house. Faithful servant. Foreign diplomacy. Engineer. Spearman. Clerk. Not bad. What else? Oh, Aragorn and Sicily don't like me. Interesting. Also, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. England is... Oh, man, they love me. Can I please get a crusade for something? Ah, no. I was hoping I could maybe get a crusade on it as something that England controlled. But no, that's not the case. Because they are excommunicated. But I don't get to do that. I don't get to have fun. Of course not. So I'll just have to wait until I get my reinforcements over here. Because honestly, uh, you... Again, I want to try and check... Oh, let's kind of go around this way first. Over here. I want to see what's in there. Uh, I don't have enough vision for it. But it is a full stacked army. Um, could yes, keep going up this way because that's another castle that I want to try and take. I continue tomorrow, that's Lord. Nottingham. I've got Nottingham, York, and Edinburgh. You guys do control Edinburgh. But that is also city. So city, city, castle, city, castle, city. The problem. Unless there's another city what castle around name? here. I think the reinforcements, the first place they're going to go, again, is going to be for Exeter. Take Exeter and then I'll have them try and take... Uh, Karnavon as well. That's kind of the main goal right now. Because if I can get more castles around here, again, just like what I'm doing with over in Russia, I'll be able to expand a little bit more easily. Let's see. Another general. Mm, general. Oh, a little of these crap, but I can just bribe that up, so I think that's fine. Um, where are you? Tron time right now. Ah, uh, I... Does that will like, inspire any general commander? Let's be able to again. Uh, I think that's fine. We'll, we won't we'll ignore that for now. Um, you, are there any generals around here that... Oh, actually, I should just grab another one to bring forward. So let's actually see. You've got... your your 38. One loyalty. <laughs> really bad. Um, if anything, I actually bring, rather bring you. You're of my house. You're the y'all of this area. So, you know, let's bring you over to this guy. Give him that. Have him become the... A man watching over the city, and I'm gonna bring you. Well, Demos, you actually have some command, so I might as well. Um, let's make you move down around. Oh. Make you move out of the city. Uh, they are losing population without you there. Ah, uh, that's great. Well, let's hope that maybe you'll get a little bit better here. Although I am getting this, so the, it'll grow a little bit more after that. 
Oh man, are you just really that bad? Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to... I want to bring you with, but I guess not, since I need you to watch over the city, since the other guy just sucks. So, you're not the Jarl anymore. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll bring you. I'll bring you to the war front. You're probably going to die, but you know what? Let's try it. Let's make you... Uh, let's bribe you. That should help improve your loyalty, and we'll keep doing that as we have you be the one that's going to bring all the forces over to England. So you guys don't have anything else to recruit you besides some archers... Uh, Oslo. Yeah, you're about out of troops, too. Okay, so we're just waiting on these guys to get over here. I can actually have you guys probably grab, like, one of you, make your way down here. Pick up the trebuchet. Make your way back up here. Uh, you guys have got... Almost, oh, actually, I do have an art general already on here. <laughs> Never mind, you're the one that I should be bribing. I can actually just maybe bribe both. Oh, I actually have to have you off of this if I want to do that. Move out! Oh, it's oh, can I only do that once per turn? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no, I'll bring both of them. If I bring both of them, then I can make sure that uh, you guys will be able to have a bit more um, of a, some staying power over in England if I have more generals around there. Um, grab some of those guys, just make sure they're a little bit happier. They're unhappy because of just unrest in general. So I'll just have you just focus on that. Some of them siege. Dip, you guys are sieging my king here. We should be okay, I believe. You should be fine. So I'm not going to worry too much about you. I'm just going to keep making my way up here and push over to you guys here. Let's see, that is... Ooh, their current prince! Ooh. Okay, move over there. I'm going to hope you don't move. Please don't move, and I can lure you guys out of Chernigov. Um, let's see. You guys here. Keep sure training those guys. And then let's have you get some more infantry around here. Oh, you guys actually have some more cavalry right here. Good. So I can have you guys... Um, okay, I'll do that. That would yes. be maybe a little safer. Because I like, bring you guys there. And these guys here. Because they've got some cav. And let's bring like these guys. And I'll bring you guys right over here. Then you're a little bit closer when I reinforce. Because if you guys you don't attack me before I get these reinforcements over here, this army here is actually not the best... So I can probably actually just sally out of my city and push them back. Um, you guys... Oh, I still have so many pretty archers. <sighs> I really just need to stop recruiting them. Or, if I, again, if I need anything, keep them in the cities, as they're really good for defensive uh, sieges. That's about it, really, though. Um, you guys still have more movement. I do have this battle now, though. So let's kind of push in here. Let's push through Tarov. Um, honest, I wish I could just... Okay, so... Right now, the battle is 2-1. to one. Auto resolve will give me shit. Uh, so we'll have to push through them because I know that it shouldn't be that difficult as they are just a bunch of garrison forces. The stats are not big, that great. So, this is going to be very similar to what we did with my king, but without the reinforcing armies coming in, it should be a bit easier for us to actually deal with them. So let's go, my man! Let's get you guys up on here. I have a little more cav in this force, though. So we've got you, 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 and you. I've got, yeah, six cav units. So you guys kind of go right there. I have two archers. Oh, wrong guys. Archers, and then my infantry. My infantry is a little bit lower quality than before. So I've got only four of you guys on the ladders. Can go right here. Archers. Boop. And then go right there. Storch to battle. And then I'll send you guys there. There. And there. And you right here. So push them back, my men. I hope somebody can open the gates for us. Because if we can actually beat them back on one of these sections, open the gates up. I can start bringing my cav in here, and then just start wrecking shit in melee with them, hopefully. Because I'll try and eventually maybe get my archers over here so they can just shoot the guys in the city center. Otherwise, it is just letting my infantry just mow through the garrison forces. There we go. You guys can start opening the gates for us here. Let's start moving these guys up as well. That way we don't have to move everybody through the ladders. You guys go up, and same with my cav. As soon as they take the gates, we're going to rush you all in. Oh, come on. You need to move it this way, too. Come on, come on, come on. Open the gates. Capture them for us. Right about... Actually, just basically go attack this unit, and it should open up. Our there we go. Okay, Cav gonna end. run on in the here. Walls belong to us now. Same with all of my infantry. You guys rush on in. Because right now, you guys are absolutely destroying them up here. Uh, they do have one guy over here for some reason. All of you guys go kill them once this dude is dealt with. Oh, actually, probably have one of you go over here with this guy. Because they'll break. 
Uh, these guys over here are still holding. I can have you guys, once you're done with this unit, make your way on over there. Because my cap, I'm going to bring you guys all along this side here. Okay, move all the way over here. And then you guys kind of just start pushing straight for the city center. You guys can go that way. Because this unit right here should break. I'll have you make your way over here. Oh, that guy's running. Never mind, ignore him then. You guys make your way on over here. And then my archers, I'm going to have you guys start kind of casually walking on over. And I'll put you guys right here to just shoot them in the city center. As now they're just sitting there. And so I'll freely just shoot all of you guys. Bring all of these guys. And where are you going? Are you done with that unit yet? Yep. Yeah, it's broken now. So once this guy's dead, you guys will help out with this unit over here. And now we just need to move you guys to the city center. Ah, uh, you guys are now down to your last stand. My archers are still getting in position. Uh, one of them has started opening up at least. These guys are just about in position as well. They've lost 75% yeah, of their forces. They get to just try and see how much damage they get to do to us before we take the castle. But so far we've lost about a fourth of my army. I hate that I'm still losing a decent chunk every time. Even though their units are not that great. Now his men will lose this is why I like the lure out tactic. It's very useful. It's, it is technically a bug, but it's very useful for fights like this where these guys are just a bunch of fodder. They're not that great of units. They do get slaughtered. Like, my guys are killing quite a few of them. But all they do is just clog up the streets in the city center as I slaughter them all. There we go. At least I am getting uh, those... Uh, at least I am getting enough kills that eventually my kill death ratio might hit that magic 2.0 number I'm trying to get to overall in this campaign. As there you go. Decent amount of kills for you guys with turn off. So now what we're going to do is we'll try and replenish our forces a little bit and then keep making our way down south. I'm trying to, in this mod for sure, it's better to just avoid the armies as much as possible and just fi focus on taking cities for sure as... Like, Kiev and England have so much crap. So much crap. There's no reason for me to try and single-handedly, like, see if I can slowly destroy all their armies. No, they just recruit so quickly, it's never gonna fucking happen. So, you guys do that, and then I do need... They have so many fucking archers. I will probably leave that those archers there. So, this way I'll basically have, I need... Because you guys will have four slots after that. Because the guys I've got on this ship, you should be fine to replenish around over here. Uh, that should be fine. That should be fine. Because then I'll take it. So I'll take a couple more archers. Let's take, like, these guys. Uh, actually, maybe one more. One more guy. Let's take one more uh, unit. Let's take you, because I know those units are in there. You guys make your way down over here. Turov, again, build up the place. I need you guys to get the military bu uh, buildings up and back and running. Um, Vilno sieged. That should be fine. I've been able to actually replenish my dudes quite a bit around here. So you should be okay. Um, line items, doing better and everything besides just financial. Um, natural. No, no! Let's see, I'm gonna have you. Ready to Who's trade. better? You're about the same. Uh, they were trading this. Yeah, it's 1100 for that. I must rest. Until Go make your way on over there and watch. Uh, start trading there. You're a worse guy. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping you made me more money, man, not less. I'm hoping that as you sit here, you'll become a better governor. Because um, let's make sure that you guys... It's Bakehouse School. Let's focus on the school next. Library. And then... Not the brothel. <laughs> become a better governor, and then I'll uh, give you a brothel, my man. But get the Bakehouse and the Barns after that. There we go. And then you guys are just about to be able to move out next turn. Let's see, building fort. Visby. Oh yeah, we did get all those guys from Visby. Ooh! Holy Empire is at war with the Pope. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense why they're excommunicated. The Cardinal Fort. So I'm actually like the paragon of what a faction should be then, I guess. Um, wait, what's this about? Received a new anchor? Oh, that's what I was talking about. It was just saying that I could, I was moving it. Okay. Meet me in the enemy camp. Um, international situation. 
Damn it. Uh, I should I should make sure I send some money over to the Vlads. Also, actually to Lithuania too. I don't want war with them, so let's go. For, oh, actually, I've got one by their city already right now, don't I? So they're right here. Yes. So let's take you. Let's go down here. I'm gonna try and bribe them with some money, as I don't want you guys to hate me. You are allied to Kiev, though. Let's try this. So I'll try and offer a payment. Let's offer you guys um, five thousand. It seems like a good amount to occasionally offer to get people to like me more. Because that brings me up to very bad. I'll offer a little bit more later. You guys are also poor as shit, so that should f do a little bit better for us. But no, I'll keep trying to offer you guys some money to try and prevent you guys from wanting to kill me. As I only want... Like, I don't even want really to keep fighting Kiev. I only need to kill Novgorod, but... I, I just need to make sure you guys don't want to want to attack me. Path blocked at Matt. Um, and then again, Poland, Lithuania is another one. Because that's Hungarian. Do they border me anywhere? Oh, they do a little bit. They help, they control this? Oh, that's a city I'm going to want at some point. I don't care. You can be pissed off at me if you want. I don't really care. Let's see, you guys. Almost done with that cap. Um, my fleet. Yes. You can at least get over here. I've actually got a good navy now. now. Nice. So I'll just actually grab all of you guys. Yep. Leave the... Uh, we'll take the archers. They can be useful occasionally. Oh, I'll also make sure I also grab all of these of the French Knights, too. So you guys can grab those. Uh, here, let's get the church. And then is there anything else to build? Oh, you guys can get something. Uh, oh, Villano's besieged. It doesn't really matter then at that point. Uh, I will have to see you guys just kind of maybe queue up the forge and the armory. Queue those up for now, because eventually you'll be able to build them again. Um, oh, actually, those guys might be happy enough again. No, not yet. Because this is uh, minus 15. Ah! 77. I think we'll avoid it for now. I don't specifically need it, as that is a castle. So it should be okay. And then that is it for you guys. Next turn, at least, I'll be able to start moving you guys out of here. And bring reinforcements over to England. They still haven't attacked me yet. And you have more movement. So let's kind of bring you around up this way. Oh, you just stuck in. Because what's around here? Because I think... I think this is still the same region of just Edinburgh. It looks like it. I don't believe they have anything else. Because how many how many settlements does England actually have? I didn't look at that specifically. Territorially, they've got probably 10? Is, wait, is Scotland dead? I believe they did die. Norway, Jerusalem... No, Scotland's still alive. I thought they were dead. It's England. They're not at war with them right now, though. Did I just miss Scotland dying? Yeah, I did miss Scotland dying. Oh, no, that just happened a while ago. So they've got to have literally all of England right now at this point. So, that means um, Inverness, that should be a castle they've got at the very tippy top. I should go take that. That should be under England's control, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to send my reinforcements over there. Depends on if it's um, well stocked with troops or not. Because it could be, it could also not be. It depends. Because I know Carnival, and that's an area I do want. But it has a full stack army. That'll be a bit more difficult to push in. If I can take Inverness, though... If that is a castle they control, which they should, then... Oh, do they have Ireland too? Because they, they said they have like 10 regions. And I know they have like nothing in, in uh, Europe. It's just them on the British Isles. So they could basically control all of the British Isles right now. And so I believe there's one castle on Ireland. One castle... Uh, there, there definitely is Inverness up in the north. Oh, hi, guys! Um, up in the north. So I could basically take... Actually, let me double check this one. Uh, I can't look at it while I'm doing this. I was hoping that I could actually maybe do the right click thing and see the land. So you guys here, those artillery pieces I don't like. I don't have any garrison troops, so I do have to use my own guys. So we're going to sally out a little bit and try and get them onto the ladders. Then we should be okay. As soon as we get them onto the ladders, this battle should be pretty much won. As long as they don't use their artillery pieces uh, to destroy any sections, which they could with a catapult, we should be able to hold this. 
was I still haven't gotten to the second layer yet of uh, technology for castles. I don't know when you get that, and I'm very curious when I'm actually going to reach that point. So, start deployment. Everybody down off the walls. They've got one ladder, two ladders. So, they'll probably bring one. They like to bring them, usually, it seems like, around here. I think I'm going to try and have them go to this one. So, if you guys go here, here, and just that. Right there. You three. And then I'm going to actually put... Because, again, they might bring some guys over here. So, let's bring you. Let's put you guys on this side. And then I can adjust everybody else later. So, you guys... Let's just have you in the city center initially. Just as soon as we know more. Um, you guys... I'll just put you there to kind of just... Oh, actually, kind of more like... So... Um, trebuchet? Yeah, I love that guy trebuchet this time. You guys can just sit here and just shoot whoever the hell you want, I'd say. But my cav, I do need to use you guys to harass the enemy. So let's just start the battle. First things first, we need to get them off of their artillery pieces. Those will kind of move up a little bit, kill them. Then, after those are dead, we'll make sure we get them off of one of the ladders. Maybe I'll leave both ladders, actually. Because if I leave both ladders, it'll be a bit faster for them to get their troops onto the goddamn walls so I can kill them off. Because I don't want to sit here forever. So let's get my guys up here. Oh. Come on. Charge the artillery pieces. You three go up. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Those guys are dealt with. Pull on back. I want to wait until they're a little bit further away. Then we want to get them off of the siege towers and the ram. And they've only got three rams. Yeah, so you charge there, you charge there, and you charge there. Everybody else just kind of stay back. You guys kind of rush on in first. Get them off of that equipment. Uh, slow it down. Oh, just a little bit. There we go, there we go. And not going to hit the, the ram there, so pull back again. We have to wait for the ram to get a little bit closer. Oh, you might be able to get them off it there. There we go. Careful, don't hit those uh, ladders. Oh my! <laughs> I'm surprised you guys didn't drop that. Uh, that was. Uh, I'm glad you did. Okay, Cav, back off a little bit again. Gates are shut still. Good. That ram is dropped. Um, they are not moving that one though. Okay, you guys actually picked this one back up. You very rarely do that. But I'll drop that, and then let's kind of run back over this way. Pull away from the siege tower. They are not using the rams. Both their ladders are up, so now it should just be the fight for the walls. I'll have to figure out a way to get my cat back in the city at some point. But just for now, run away. I don't need you guys around here. Oh, I can kind of wait until they also start blobbing up around the ladders to also charge them and try and break them all. So let's see. So you guys have currently now lost two-thirds of your army so far. I uh, lost about 12% of my own. Um, my archers haven't really done much. You guys have not really sent all that much over here. I'm gonna have my calf. Uh, let's bring you guys back over here now. Because if I can get these guys to break, for the most part, the battle should be over at that point. Because they have just three cav units back here. The catapults and trebuchets, um, oh wait, do they have some guys here? Uh, those guys are over by the ladders, I guess. But no, as soon as I break all their infantry, they'll have to give up the fight. So let's bring my cat back over here. You guys kind of just try and uh, basically just kind of stand here because I don't think I can tell you to actually charge them because they're partially on the walls at this point. Come on, let's see if this is going to do with them in. I ran you guys really far away because I wanted to make sure that the enemy wasn't going to just try and attack you with some random bullshit. Let's kind of just, let's see how this is going to work, guys. So a lot of you are already wavering and shaking. There we go. Break them all. There we go. Run them all down. And now they're giving up here, although it looks like they have got somebody still fighting. Oh, no, never mind. Um, let's see, we're at 78. Uh, I can run them down a little bit more, but I don't really care. Let's just be done with that. Plus 200 guys. Wow, this is nice. a great 200 victory. guys to kill Worthy 1,600. Not bad. Generals. Yeah, Foothouse Carls. These guys do amaze me on the walls. 600 kills almost. Not bad, man. Not bad. The Winchester Castle shall not fall. I really do need to make sure and check and see if I again if I can get the northern and southernmost castles of England and conquer those, I can split their focus and really start hammering them hard in these defensive sieges. If they let me have time to replenish. 
if they let me have time to replenish. With your lives. Slowly but surely, I will continue killing more of their men. They will keep slowly my guys down, but as soon as I get a unit destroyed, I'll be able to just have more garrison troops, which isn't the worst. But we had a pretty good kill-death ratio there, so we should be able to keep that up for a little while longer. Uh, it just depends on the quality of the armies they're sending at me, how much I'll lose each time. I really need those reinforcements over here. I'm going to send them to the north, I think. Northern England, depending on what the garrison is around Inverness, I'm going to try and conquer it. Because, again, I want to try and split their focus to the north and south. Because I could take care of Vaughn, but I think it's actually better if I try and specifically focus on the northern area first. I do also have to check out Ireland, but I... I have to make sure I drop off a new spy over there, or just bring my guys, uh, my fleet over to uh, transfer my spy over to Ireland. Uh, camp looted. Novgorodian prince is dead. Ooh, interesting. Who are they fighting again? Because I'm not at war with them anymore, but they are still fighting people, it seems. Unless he died of old age. Um, you guys over there. Oh, yeah! And those guys are way over here. They might start doing some more damage for me, actually. Because if they kill Novgorod, that's perfect with me, because you guys curious if you're losing any territory because i've stopped my war but you still seem to be losing stuff Get six because that was the one two no they've still got the same amount of regions damn i was hoping you guys had lost some more land to them but nope that's not the case okay so kiev i should where's my face uh you're not in a good spot for that right now okay let's bring you guys drop off over here and then you don't have the movement for now. But uh, what I'll do is I'll try and bring you guys around this way. You'll help out with that battle next turn. Uh, I probably should have just... Mm, yeah, let's bring most of these guys back into the actual city it's, or castle itself. Um, keep a training and then give me some more of this cav. Actually, I'll just get more cav. Get more of those guys. You keep making your way on over here. Uh, are there any mercenaries? There are. Okay, grab those. And then, let's see, if I leave just the archer behind, they are currently at 60%. Because I kind of want to be able to go over to Kiev now. They don't have that much around here. I could maybe make my way over there. Because, let's see, if I leave behind, like, you and you. That's enough. That's enough. Those two are enough. Okay. Let's make our way on over to Kiev. You guys, I can send a couple of you over here next turn to go up them out. Um, I should have built some watchtowers around there. That's ah, fine. Let's have you um, grab these excess men. And I'm going to try and have you... Oh, can I buy this city from Novgorod? I'm wondering if they'll actually accept that. Because, let's see, I've got... Uh, you guys, I'll give you some money later. Let's go back up to here. And then, can I... Ah, oh, I don't have enough movement. Damn it. Okay. Because I was hoping I could maybe try and see if I can buy that settlement from them. Because they're pretty poor, right? Uh, territorial, financial... Ah, oh, no, they're doing pretty well for themselves. They probably won't accept that. Except what well, you guys have seen me this time. It's about the same quality. Okay, so that's going to be fun. Uh, again, let's keep moving up this way. Let's go up the rounds here. Edinburgh. Yep, they do. They just have all this... So the question is, is where is Inverness? Ooh, am I the strongest military power? I might be. Um, I just need to find it. They have now started a war. Those guys are at peace. Interesting. I wish I could see what the map looked like in general without having to pay up, uh, just pay for more map information right now. Because I'm very curious what the world looks like right now. But I do find it interesting still having the fog of war off. And so I and I know because I turned off cheats specifically, they're just completely disabled with this mod. That I sadly won't get to know what that looks like. Sadly. But now at least you guys here. Um, I'm gonna bring all of you guys. Let's see. You have how many more slots? You've got th three other slots. Okay, so um let's do this. I was going to be bringing more merchants down anyways towards Africa. So what I'll do with you guys is bring you over here. You'll also just help ferry some troops over into England. Also, I should double check you guys down here. Make sure you're still trading. No, you're not. They did kick me off it. Maybe you start losing 1,700 from that. Thanks, guys. Let's see. Man, my fleet. Oh, you're almost here. Okay. Um, If I can, let's try and drop you off down the river a little bit more. 
just to get you a little bit further in. There we go. So I've got, let's see, you. Let's see, that's 400. Uh, 1,400 there. So you're going to go there. Um, you. That's like 360. Zip. 300. 94. 495. 300. Oh, there we go. There's some slaves. And then you. Actually, I don't think you need to move. That's 500. Uh. That actually might be the best thing for you to grab. Oh, actually, what is that gold worth again? Ready to trade. 1700. Never mind. Go over there. Okay. That's what you guys will do. And then I'm going to have you guys make your way back up here. Because I really want to have it so that the forces that will drop them off continuously will be from around here at some point. So make your way back up there. And I think. And that's it for that. Let's, okay, let's at least do some more construction. We'll construct some more stuff around. Oh, you guys just don't have anything. Does anybody else have any build slots available, though? We can try and get some more buildings around here. And I think we'll be done for now. Because we're basically just trying to check and see what's going on with England. Trying to... Let's just get the better market. Get, build those up. Just queue them. Um, we're trying to go drop off forces and take Inverness from England. And then hopefully I'll be able to kind of split their focus... And then start conquering them over there. I Again, I still think England's going to be easier to deal with in Novgorod and Kiev. They really should be. Um, you guys get the better farm there. You guys um, barely have enough public order. I think I'll wait on that. Get the better in. Get the better in. And I'll actually get the get workshop catapult. Get that. Because you guys are very close to growth. And that should be it. Okay. So next video, hopefully, uh, it depends on how many more turns it will take you guys to get over here. Uh, it's about two or three turns. We should be able to take Inverness from them. Um, I know for sure I can have this battle ready next turn. Um, you guys are just about to get to Kiev as well. Oh, I can send you to Kiev if I want. But you go to Chernigov. You guys go there. I'll have two more cities from Kiev. We did take two of them today. And there's just two more after that. So once we've taken those all out, I'll try and offer a piece to Kiev. Because I don't need to fight them at that point. Hopefully I do enough damage to them that they're willing to accept it. Because I know with Novgorod I killed so many guys that it made sense that eventually they accepted. But Kiev has been rather stubborn. But I'm going to be done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did... Make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any thoughts on it in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.